welcome back to another studio vlog thank you so much for joining me and for clicking on this video we've got a lot to get through today the sun is shining which is putting me in the best mood ever i have sun catchers like little plant sun catchers on my window i'll show you them just now and it's reflecting rainbows everywhere in the room and it's putting me in the best mood ever but i've honestly got so much to get through and only two hands and i don't think there's enough time in this day for me to do everything that I need to get done but I like to be busy I like having like I, I like making a list of what I've got to do and just filling the list I know like people say like don't put too much on it because it overwhelms you like I need that overwhelmed feeling of like I'm never going to get all this done because it makes me want to get things done quicker kind of thing so yeah, I'll show you the sun catchers now. So these are the sun catchers I have on the window. I have loads of different plant ones. A couple at the top and then I have them just like dotted around the window. Don't judge me if the window's dirty, it needs cleaning. And we still haven't got a window cleaner yet in this house and there's cobwebs on the windows and it's creeping me out because when I open the window, I feel like I'm just inviting the spiders in the fact that we haven't had the outside of the windows cleaned yet. So I need to remember to do that, but I'll show you the rainbows around the room. So the reflecting, as you can see here, then here, like this just makes me so happy. And I know it's like just such a small little thing. They're down there as well on the doors. And then here, look, look at them reflecting on the vases that I need to paint. Listen, that's enough to make me smile. Some rainbows around the room. I just love it. In front of me, I have a lot of clear hearts that need painting because the Candy Hearts vase is currently trending. I don't know why, I don't know whether it's because of TikTok or what, but I'm getting quite a few orders for it. So I have all of these ones that are dry that need to be painted. Then I've got this little trinket dish that I wanna paint. I wanna do it in the um, wavy design, like my most popular wavy design, because that is my favorite one. Then I also want to organise the shelf because it's looking a bit sparse like in some places where I've been taking orders down and I need, I need to just rearrange it because the spring stuff is like down the bottom here and that needs to be moved up the top. The mirrors I think I want to move further down. I want the plant pots like all on top here. Um, yeah so I'm going to do like a rearrange of the shelf. But first I have obviously my orders to get done because they are the priority right now. Me and Nathan had a lovely little walk in the sun this morning to post some orders at the post office. It was very wholesome and yeah I've got in front of me, I don't know whether to show you them. I feel like I'm going to show you them. I've started yesterday, I started on some summer designs so you guys who are watching this will be like the first to see these designs because I won't be showing these anywhere until a bit closer to the release date. So this is the new lemon vase. The writing says, um, welcome to the Amalfi Coast fruit market, fresh lemons served daily. I love that one so much. And then to match that, this still needs glazing, but we have these little tile coasters that I don't know whether I'm going to actually like list these as a coaster or as more of like a decorative tile because I don't know. I mean, there could be a giant coaster, but I don't know whether they'd just be better as like decorative pieces, but either way. And then this dish little trinket, ring dish, jewellery dish, whatever you want to use it for in the same design with the same text on it. And then this, another dish, this is a swirl one. One of my favourite designs to do to paint is the swirl one because I don't know, it's quite therapeutic. I don't have to think about it too much. Like I just flow wherever the paintbrush takes me. So yeah, love the lime green lilac and like a dark tealy colour. To match the dish we have of course a vase and that is the start of the summer collection so far. I just had like a wave of inspiration yesterday and uh, once that comes I just have to roll with it so yeah that's where we're at but I'm gonna get started mixing these colours. 
I also, am I giving my, like, I know I said I like giving myself things to do, but am I giving myself too much to do? I'm on a time limit because I am at work later, so, uh, what time do I need to stop? Probably about three o'clock, so that only gives me two hours, which is not enough time for what I want to get done because it's one o'clock now. Um... Because I really want, I need to do some more clay hearts because all of these have sold and I've got no more clay like drying or anything. So I really need to do some more hearts. We're going to have to do that. But while I had the clay out, I kind of wanted to do, I want to do like a swim, another swimming pool, like ring dish holder. But I want to make it like a mirror slot in it as well. I'm wasting time anyway. I need to get started. <laughs> Are drying because I can't do the text on them until they're properly dry I'm gonna sort the shelving unit out rearrange it um, yes yeah, so I'm gonna start by taking everything off and then I'm gonna give it a wipe down with my Zaflora and kitchen roll and then we can put everything back on in a bit of a I mean it's obviously the order that it's in is fine but this top bit needs some work like I said like I'm gonna put all the plant pots up there maybe like the random um bulb vases can go at the top as well um I want the clay further down the mirrors further down check everything off first and then we can clean it and put everything back on shelf organized I thought I'd do you a quick little tour of what I've done so at the top we have plant pots there's a couple of vases behind and the last remaining ceramic jar so all at the top there is plant pots then this shelf is some of the new spring designs and then more vases behind there 
Then this is my most recent collection. We have the disco vase as well and then some of the wavy vases at the back. Next shelf is a bit of a mixture. So we have some already painted vases here. Then we have the new ones that I showed you earlier on. We have some clay pieces in my favourite stackable um, storage boxes from Primark. Love the colours and they're so handy, especially for storing clay and stuff. Next shelf we have the mirrors. Um, the gumball machine, just random clay pieces over here. The bookshelf plant pot behind there. And then the bottom shelf is just a few boxes, some random pieces, some random sale pieces, and a couple of the paintings that are still left. I'm so happy that that is now done. Like, I just love looking at it. I love that I can, like, reorganise it whenever I want, and it feels like a brand new, like, space once everything's changed around and stuff. I love it. So... <laughs> next to me i think these are pretty much dry also i've kept a couple of these storage boxes because i think i'm going to get rid of this i don't know whether i'm going to get rid of it or i'm just going to not have it on the desk anymore because i feel like it's just in the way and i want a bit more space like on the desk it takes up quite a big it doesn't look like it but it does take off quite a big chunk of the desk so I feel like maybe we get rid of that I'm thinking we can do like some shelving up this bit of the wall for some of my paints and stuff and then I want to reorganize because this is like my packing paper um business cards and just random like clay tools are in this bit so I feel like I just need a bit of like I'm a bit I just need a little more space I think especially when I'm packing and stuff because I want like this side of the desk to be like my painting area and then this side to be my packing area whether i'd stick to that i do not know but that is the plan i can't wait to decorate this room as well i'm obviously going to film it but i'm still trying to decide what i want to do because this wallpaper was already on when we moved in and i feel like it obviously does go with the vibe but i've seen like a pink and green leaf one that's really cute i'm debating zebra print um because i feel like zebra print would look really cool but i don't want to make the room like too dark it is a really bright room but i don't know then i'm thinking like over here we could have like a big like green and pink mural painting maybe some like text like motivational creativity quotes i don't know it's yeah i need to start the pinterest board properly because i've obviously been looking at ideas but i just need to get set i need a new desk chair as well because this one is just not comfy enough for the amount of time i spend in it i got this from ikea it was so cheap but i obviously have a cushion on the seat and then the blanket on the back i've seen a better one on amazon i don't know whether it's classed as like a gaming chair but it's pink and white and it has like a little like foot resty type bit that just looks it like moves up and down and i don't know whether that would be better long term what time are we on it's 20 past two so i've got another 40 minutes to get some things done so i'm thinking we oh i don't know i don't know um, i don't know because i really need to do some clay so i don't know whether to do Okay, I've decided. I'm going to do the clay first because I need to do some hearts because somebody has requested some pins. I have these little love heart pins that were in the sale and she asked me if I could do two more sets and she bought the heart bars as well. So I need that clay to dry the next couple of days so that I can paint it on Monday because it's Saturday today. I can paint it on Monday and then get that order out. Probably Wednesday, I think, is the next day I'm posting. Um, so that's decided. I'm going to do some clay and then if we've still got time, I will do the lettering on the candy hearts. I'm using the Daz White air dry clay today. I've also used the Hobbycraft one, which when it's in the sale, it's like half the price. And I do enjoy that one as well. That one's a much more like wet consistency. Um, this one seems to be drier. I don't really know which one's easier to work with if I'm honest, but... Yeah, if you have any other recommendations for air dry clay, if you are a fellow small business who works with clay, definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, this one's just slightly less wet consistency than the Hobbycraft one.
I also have ordered a new rolling pin. I've ordered one of the non-stick plastic ones because this was a wooden one that just came in like a kit thing but obviously where all the clay bits have dried and stuck to it it makes them patterns in the clay and it just makes it harder for me to have to smooth it out so I have ordered one and it's on the way it should come probably next week but for now we're still working with this one I've got my little pot of water and yeah we're gonna oh I need my cutter little heart cutter and yeah, now we can get going. inspired by our blog by Julia on TikTok to do these cool hamperin joggers. The hamperins are my fiance's hamperins because I thought that added a little extra cute touch. Um, my hair is so greasy today. I do have a cute claw clip in but it needs washing so <laughs> I'm gonna try not to show my face much today because you don't want to see that. I've just gone and answered the door for a parcel so I literally can't breathe from walking up the stairs but I'm in the mood to sing today so this is today's album of choice Daisy Jones and the Six. If you haven't read the book or watched the series on Amazon on Amazon Prime you need to it's one of my absolute favourites and the album is just the best to like sit and paint to and sing to I love it. One of my lovely customers who ordered one of the Candy Hearts vases also ordered the little pin set. This comes with three little pins. So we have a little yellow one that says love you, a pink one that says bestie, and then a lilac one that says XOXO. I have, she ordered that set and she also asked me to do a two more set. So I've done the little hearts for the set. I just need to do the backs of the pins, do the text on them, spray them with a sealer and then they'll be good to go. So that's what I'm going to do now.
I'm just about finished my orders for the day. I've finished the Candy Hearts vases. They've been sealed and are just drying. I've also sealed the little pins again. These are just drying and then I need to put the backs, the, can't get my words out. Then I need to put the backs on the pins. I've got three book vases that are just drying up here and then I need to do the writing on them. I have this one, a leopard vase, pink and blue that needs the black outline on. While all of them are drying, I'm actually gonna do some clay. I really wanna do a swimming pool. I've done one swimming pool before in my shop and it sold i was so happy with it it looked so cute it was like the cutest ring dish i've ever seen in my opinion even though i'm totally biased um but i really want to do another one i've already made a little i have no idea where they are right now but i've made a little um rubber ring and a beach ball and yeah i'm gonna make the swimming pool now hopefully it goes right and then i'll make a little ladder out of um some sticks to go with it and yeah i've also had an idea to do a strawberry candle holder but i don't know if it's actually gonna work how i think it's gonna work i'm thinking of like stacking them on top of each other would that work i have no idea whether that's gonna work but we'll give it a go So I'm getting there with the mirror. This is <laughs> a mirror that is obviously no use anymore. So I'm gonna make it a standing mirror one. So I've made the little slot for the mirror just in there. This is the little rubber ring and the beach ball. I'm just about to make the ladder and then we've got to wait for it all to dry and then we can paint it. So it is a new day and for the last part of this studio vlog I'm going to sit and pack all the orders up that I've been working on for the past couple of days. So I think we've got around 10 orders to pack up I think. Let me double check. Yeah, we've got 10 orders to pack up. Most of them are the candy heart vases. So yeah, 
I'm going to sit and pack them up and then that will be the end of this vlog. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did enjoy and you want to see more studio vlogs from me, don't forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. We're nearly at 100 subscribers, which is so exciting. If you have a small business, leave it down below because I'd love to check it out. And yeah, let's get on with the packing. Thank you.